I've been in Nome, Alaska working for Norton Sound Health Corporation since 1986. I'd say the oral health is fairly good for the children, but you know, we serve the whole region and for some of our villages, it's, it's poor. The DHAP program is the Dental Health Aid Therapist Program, which falls under the health aid program that's unique to Alaska. They have medical providers and now they have this dental component, which they have dental therapists being at the top of the, the triangle, if you will, on down to um, other providers like we have a, a hygiene function. Some of our assistants here are, are trained to do uh, light cleaning of teeth and so forth. I tried to select therapists with a tie into the village in which they work. For instance, all the dentists are from other parts of the United States. They've been trained at dental colleges across the U.S. and they're not from Alaska. So now you have an outsider coming in providing care and, and the connection with the community is not quite as strong as if you have someone from that community of the same ethnic background preaching the message about good oral health. I am very comfortable with our dental therapists, otherwise I wouldn't allow them to practice because I, I have confidence in them because I have critiqued their work over a number of years and I can see that they do it well. The quality of our dental therapist's work is, is on par with that of uh, dentists and in some cases better than new dentists. Like new dentists, dental therapists coming out of school, they have a basic knowledge of skills but they need to, to work and hone those, those uh, clinical practices. So by the time they're out of school after two years, they've had time to focus just on this, this uh, smaller aspect of dentistry. Although their scope of practice isn't as big, it helps, they help uh, treat the, the or provide the basic care for patients, allowing the dentist to do the uh, more higher level services. I supervise their work uh, either directly, if I'm working with them still, as I do the dentists that work here, and also via telephone, they'll call me, and in some cases they'll even use telemed, that's an electronic uh, email type system where you take photos of the teeth, and it's like I have a virtual um, patient in front of me so that I can tell them how to uh, treat that patient. I would say to dentists that are just new to the issue of dental therapists that, that they need to keep an open mind. For instance, uh, I would ask dentists, how many of them would give up their hygienists at this point? Because that's not a money-making procedure for them, and it takes a lot of time, and now they can bolster their bottom line by having a, a hygienist on board. And the same thing could be said of a therapist. Since I've started working with dental therapists, I've observed that I'm busier than ever with referrals for patients requiring higher level care.